This is America in 1900. This is a car in 1900. And a phone and a high school. This is America in 1950. And a car and a phone and a high school. This is today. A car, a phone, a high school. Whoa, back up. So cars are now this, and phones are now this, but high schools are still that? American high schools are based on the same model, and it's been over 100 years. But why? In 1900, it made sense for high schools to prepare students for that. But now, shouldn't they be preparing students for this, and this, and even this? So why are we still granting diplomas based on the time a student spends in a seat? Why are we still using the Carnegie Unit, which was developed in 1906 and says the formula for learning is four years sitting at a desk multiplied by one subject taught at a time equals students ready for the future? All questions XQ Institute asked America to help answer. There was a competition, not that kind of competition, this kind. The kind where communities across the country come together to rethink high school so every student everywhere can be prepared for the future. And that's big, like really big. Like the largest open call in history to redesign high school big. This is the hard work that went into it. 10,000 people across the country became school builders. And thanks to them, there are brand new ways of teaching and learning. Starting with America's first super schools. Schools that let students learn by doing that focus on the future and spark curiosity. Schools that build community, unleash potential, and solve real world problems. That ask their students what they think and actually listen to them. 